Hey all, welcome back to my YouTube channel All About Living Space. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm here to thank especially the subscribers and all the viewers who have been supporting me and motivating me which helped me to do more and more videos. All About Living Space has reached 1k subscribers. The happiness is all because of you guys. I hope your support will be in the future as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe without fail, click on the bell icon so that you will not miss my future videos. You would have seen this bedsheet cover in my old videos wherein I have used this as the one cover also as runner on the cot. Now I am going to use the same as sofa covers. This is 3 plus 2 seater wooden sofa. I have two bedsheets wherein one I am going to spread on the 3 seater sofa. For the other two I am going to cut the bedsheet into two equal halves. I've really liked the final look. You guys write down in the comment section if you have liked it too. I have purchased a few things from Meishu related to kitchen. Let me unbox and show it to you guys. Stay tuned and watch the video till end as I'll be showing you how to use these products. These are a ceramic cactus shape salt and pepper shaker. The price of this is 152 rupees. I shall link all the product details in the description box. This is a storage rack and towel holder. Usually this is used near the sink area or in the bathroom. But I want to use this in the kitchen to keep oil bottles. The price of this is 202 rupees. This is also a wall hanging rack. I'll be using this in the kitchen sink area. The price of this is 164 rupees. These are thank you stickers. I purchased this to use while packing orders. You all know that I make handmade art products. I used to make handmade thank you stickers which used to consume a lot of time. Hence, I purchased this. The price of this thank you card is 131 rupees. I already have one tier rack in kitchen. I usually go with uh, white racks. I prefer that. So I wanted to spray paint this into white and then hang it. You can see the difference once I spray. How elegant it starts looking. Here I am using Asian spray paint. The color is ivory. It takes almost 15 to 20 minutes to dry. By then let me arrange few things in the kitchen. This teapot I purchased from nearby Mart. I thought of arranging it here so that it enhances the look of the kitchen. It's very easy to install these racks, no need of drilling. As I told you, I'll be installing this near the kitchen sink. On this rack, I want to keep dishwasher soap and countertop cleaner. What used to happen is I used to place everything down and it used to create a white stain. And even to wipe it often, it used to be difficult. This way, I can easily wipe the slab. These are wicker baskets. I purchased it very long back. It's almost 4 to 5 months along with the onion and potato baskets which I keep in utility area. You would have seen it in most of my videos. These two baskets were lying over there. I thought of giving them a nice place as I don't have a tissue holder and a place to keep garlic and ginger. I used to keep oil bottles down which made my cleaning job little tough hence I am hanging this uh, right next to the stove. There is a basket kind towards the right side of the rack which is the perfect place for my two oil bottles and I am adding coffee powder, jaggery powder and cactus shaped salt and pepper. I love the way it turned out.
I love adding curtains to the house. This time along with the long curtains, I'm also stitching a small cute curtain for the kitchen. I'll show you how I'm going to stitch it and how I'm going to hang it. This dark green is dupatta. I got it from my mom. Sari is also hers. I'm going to stitch long curtain from sari and bed sheet. And from this green dupatta, I'm going to stitch a small curtain for kitchen window. This is it guys for today. If you have liked this video, please do give thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you will not miss my future videos. Thank you all.